Speaking of not being able to trust the media, um, here's a, another reason why. This is a story from, I want to tell you, here's a story from NBC News by a reporter named Matt Levites. Here's the headline. Far-right figures appear to be testing Twitter's boundaries for anti-LGBTQ speech. Elon Musk, the new owner of Twitter, has built himself as a champion of free speech and vowed to prevent Twitter from becoming a free-for-all free hellscape. So this is a story that he wrote. He tweeted it out, too, and he said it, in, in his tweet, he said that, uh, you know, there are a bunch of conservatives and far-right figures who are uh, uh, tweeting slurs against LGBT people now. So that, that's the way this is being framed. So we're, it's hate speech. We're, we're, we're uh, you know, engaging in slurs and all that kind of thing. Here's the article. In the few days since Elon Musk closed his deal to buy Twitter, far-right users have started to celebrate what they hope will be the ability to freely use homophobic and transphobic rhetoric and make threats on the social media platform. On Saturday, former UFC fighter Jake Shields, who has over 340,000 Twitter followers, appeared to be testing the boundaries of the company's moderation apparatus by posting a photo of a drag queen smiling at a young drag performer with the caption, this is a groomer. Shields added, I was suspended for this exact tweet a month ago, so we'll see if Twitter is now free. The word grooming has long been associated with mischaracterizing LGBT people, particularly gay men and transgender women, as child sex abusers. On Friday, conservative podcaster Matt Walsh, who describes himself as a theocratic fascist, lauded Musk's acquisition of the company and encouraged his over one million followers to start misgendering trans people. We've made huge strides against transgender, Walsh tweeted. In just a year, we've recovered many years of ground of uh, of ground conservatives have previously surrendered. The liberation of Twitter couldn't have come at a more opportune time. Now we can ramp up our efforts even more. Laws are changing and public opinion is changing. Walsh, who held an anti-trans protest in Nashville, attended by thousands last month, continued, we have done all this intentionally. It was all part of the plan that we laid out and executed. Okay, so I, I, I make it into the article, of course. And now, and I could go on, and, get, and he gets the libs of TikTok and a couple others. At no point, does he actually provide an example of a, quote, far-right person um, using a slur? And at no point do, is, is, does he give any example of um, anyone making threats or encouraging threats. There are no examples of that. That's how the article is set up. There are no actual examples of it. Um, the word groomer is not a slur. It is an accurate description of what these people are doing. It's not a compliment either, but... It's when we're accurately describing your evil behavior, it, there's, no, there's no complimentary way to describe it. Um, I did say that I'm, I'm looking on, forward to going on a misgendering spree on Twitter. I've been saying that all along. But of course, by misgendering, I mean correct gendering. So that's not a slur either. No actual examples, even though that was how I was framed. But here's the point. In, in the original article, now this is apparently have, has been changed. But the original article says, um, after the part where they're quoting me, uh, the reporter claims that he reached out to me and I didn't respond to a request for comment. Okay? Well, and that, has, that language has been removed. But it was there originally. You know, I love spending the, the holidays with my family. And uh, one of the ways that I like to do that is with delicious meat from Good Ranchers. As a special gift to my listeners this holiday season, Good Ranchers is giving away two Black Angus New York strip steaks free with your order. Uh, these are two 12-ounce steakhouse quality cuts, a $70 value that you get for free. Black Angus tastes better and it's more tender than any other beef. Black Angus meat is marbled in such a way that the fat is distributed thinly and evenly. This marbling gives it a consistent flavor that you don't get with other meats. Plus, the Black Angus from from Good Ranchers is hand cut and trimmed by expert butchers, so you know every piece is going to be exquisite. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Walsh and use code Walsh to check out for this special offer. That's GoodRanchers.com slash Walsh for two Black Angus New York strip steaks free with your order, but you don't want to miss out on this, so go there now to GoodRanchers.com. Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. Well, this reporter, he reached out to me yesterday morning and told me that he's working on an article. He's, write, he's writing an article about, you know, the, the anti-LGBT rhetoric. And he, he'd just love, he'd love to get my take on it because I'm, I'm going to be included in the article and he'd love to get my perspective as well. In fact, he, he begins his message, hope you're well, exclamation point. But he'd love to get my, uh, he'd love to get my opinion on it, he says. In fact, I can pull it up. I'll tell you exactly what he I'll tell you exactly what he said. Okay, so he, he, he wrote me yesterday. I said, this is yesterday at 8.21 a.m. He says, hi, Matt. Hope you're well. 
I'm writing an article for NBC News regarding the uptick in what many would call charged rhetoric over LGBTQ issues. It, what many would call. That's, that's what he is calling it, but he said that's, it's what many people are saying. I'm going to be quoting a tweet of yours from the other day, and therefore want to reach out for comment. Let me know if you'd like to expand on your thoughts on this topic. Looking forward to hearing from you. So it was yesterday at 8.21 a.m. And I got this message, and I've been around the block a little bit with these people. I know how it works. So he says he's writing the article. I got the message at, uh, I don't know, I saw it 10 minutes later. And so I went and checked. I went to NBCNews.com, and what do you know? The article's already been posted. And it was already posted long before he sent the request for comment. They posted it at around 5 o'clock in the afternoon the previous day. And then he waits for, for the afternoon and evening to pass. And then the following day reaches out to me and says that he's writing the article right now and wants to get my comment. And not only that, but in the original version of the article, again, it said that they reached out to me and I didn't respond. But they didn't reach out to me in, in, at, at the time when they, when they published it. They had not reached out to me. They were just anticipating that I wouldn't respond. And so they, they claimed it as if it had happened. Um, and I saw this and I, and I messaged him back. I said, hi, Matt, I see that you've already published your article. Timestamp seems to indicate it was published the day before you reached out for comment. Is that correct? He says, yes, the original version of the story was published yesterday. We'd appreciate your comment on this topic if you have anything to add. And I did have something to add and I messaged him back. I said, I think you understand that it's a tactic to publish a story, wait until the initial push of traffic has died down, and then ask for comment from the people you've smeared in the article. I don't care if you guys are partisan vultures masquerading as journalists. I just prefer it if you didn't insult my intelligence by pretending that you want to hear my perspective for an article that you published yesterday. Haven't had a response after that. After I, after that. This is the tactic, of course. They published the article with all the smears and everything, cl making claims. Uh, you made threats. You, you, uh, made, you, you engaged in slurs and all the rest of it. Then you get the initial push of traffic, get the traffic overnight. You wait till the traffic has died down and no one's reading the article anymore. Now, it's NBC News, so not that many people are going to read it to begin with. But um, like 90% of the people who will read it will read it in the first few hours. That's just the way that it works. Uh, that's just, that's the nature of the beast when you're in the content creation space on the internet. And they know that. So the following day, it's like, no one's reading it anymore. And then we'll, we'll update it with your comments. These people are, as I said to him in my response, these people are partisan vultures. And then, and then they have the nerve. Uh, it, as I said, to, I, I, it annoys me. The fact that they're soulless lying hacks. I, I get that part of it. Okay. I, I accept that. Um, but to, yeah, it's just insulting my intelligence. I don't, I don't like, you know, don't insult my intelligence. I, you, you think I'm stupid enough to buy this? You use a tactic like this and I'm, and I'm not going to notice. It's like, it's like I say to my kids sometimes when I, you know, I, I tell them to go clean their room and then they go up there and they just shove everything right under the bed and like, and I can, and I can see it poking out from under the bed. And I come up and, and I, I say the same thing. Don't, like, don't insult my intelligence, kids. This is, this is, you think I've, you know, I was a kid myself. You, 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 want, you want to get away with not cleaning your room? You're just going to put everything under the bed? Like, I'm not going to notice that? Like, I haven't, like, I didn't do that myself as a kid? Come on. If you're going to try to fool me, at least put a little, put, put a little bit more effort into it. Say the same thing to these people in the media. Um, but then on top of it, they have the nerve to be offended when people don't believe them. When they tell us the official version of a story, like with Nancy Pelosi, and we don't immediately accept it. They pull stunts like this and then are upset when we don't immediately accept everything they say. That'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.